fellow baseball fans, and welcome. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And towing the slab, Dean Kremer. What's the scouting report on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go now. And now the DH, Yandy Diaz. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Here's your one. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. On the ground is short. Slings to first. One up, one down. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Good eye right there. The next offering misses, and it's 3 0. One down, base is empty. That's in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Santander puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. This one popped up. O'Hearn puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Orioles do up in the first. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now at Oriole Park. Our starter in this one, Zach Eflin. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Bottom of the first. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. The third baseman. The wind and the pitch. That clips a corner. A 
edge of the zone for a strike and the count is 0 and 2. Out of line out towards center. Makes the grab one down. Here's Adley Rutschman. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. First offering misses the mark. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. That one missed. No, really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. And a base hit up the middle. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. One gone runner at first. Anthony Santander at the plate. Ball one there. Rutschman stands at first with one out. In there at the knees. Swings through that. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. That one's in there. And that is strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering misses down and away. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And that's downstairs and outside. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Ryan O'Hearn up next. One out. Runners at first and second. And now a full count. Okay. Ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Rutschman around third. He'll score easily. On the board first, it's one zip. Big RBI for him right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. First and second, one out. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. That misses the zone. Ball one. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. And it's even up. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then 
By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Now this is a rocket to left. Two down. That is good. No left field. Off there. Hey. So first and second with two outs. And now it's Austin Hayes. And that's in there for strike one. First and second, two down. That one finds the corner. 0 oh and 2. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Santander coming home. The throws offline. He's safe. And they lead by two. Picks himself up an RBI. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now here is Cedric Mullins. First offering, and it just misses. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. That one the other way, and that's a fair ball. Mountcastle around third. One run is in. Hayes coming around third. Row cut off, out of the plate, and he's out. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Second inning coming up from Baltimore. It's the Orioles three, the Rays nothing. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Now, this is a rough start to the inning. It's easy to feel like you're on an island on the mound, but he knows his defense is there to back him up. Kremer picks over. Low, back in standing. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Pitch out, but no action. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. Entering is the pinch runner, Jose Siri. Siri gets his lead at first. Nobody out. There's a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. The pitch. Straighten him up a little bit. The 2 1. Late swing, fouled off. He goes down looking.
Here's Manuel Margot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Kick Sandios. And there's a foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. The 1-1. One, one. And downstairs. Line drive. Fair ball. Siri, round second on his way to third. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. The run scores all the way from first. And now just a two-run deficit. Everything came together for him. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Curtis Mead next to hit for the Rays. Foul ball. Runner at second here, one gone. And the 0-2. And now one and two. And a one two. That smash towards center. Mullins makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Now up for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Strike two. No ball. Two strike. In the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Runner at second. Two down. On the ground. Oh, a great stop. The throw goes to first. Save. And there are runners at the corners. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. First and third, two away. Here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. Runners on first and third. Two away. Pickoff throw. And he's back in there. The 01. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Kremer checks over to first, and he's back. Hey. 
And here it comes. That one just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That misses the zone. And the count is two and two. Two on, two outs. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Runner from third, in to score. And it's a one-run game. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz now. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the pitch. And strike two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Tying run in scoring position as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. 2-2 two -two now. Upstairs. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Randy or Rosarena waiting for a turn at the plate. Three and two now. Fights it off. He'll see another. And here's a slow roller. Mountcastle whips it to first on the run. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So two runs on three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Orioles three, the Rays two. Now into the ball game on defense, Jose Siri. He takes over and right. Now it's the DH, Jordan Westberg. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss. Going one. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Batting nine, the second baseman, Adam. Here's Frazier. Adam Frazier. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Slings it across. Frazier retired. Third baseman, number two. Gunner. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Gunner Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's 0 for 1. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. And that is that. Three up, three down for the Orioles. 
but they're up three to two. Back here in Baltimore, now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. Kremer back to work. There's a strike. And that's a strike. Ground ball right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And one away in the top of the third. So up next, Harold Ramirez. 0 for 1 so far. In the air, right field. And a couple of quick outs. And now it's Jose Siri. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Just missed. Right side, hard hit. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Down in order, go the Rays. And it's still a 3-2 ball game. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning, now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Crowley's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. That one down the line, and foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Oriole Park still one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of baseball. I can't say another franchise does it better than Baltimore. The opening day ceremony, the players come in from the outfield through the center field wall, long orange carpet, so many fans here. Just a great place. Santander in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. In for a strike, and a count one and one. That signature warehouse in right field as well. You talk about knowing where you are, a sense of place. I mean, who could forget Griffey hitting the home run off of the warehouse in the home run derby, but always when shots are framed, you see that building, you know exactly where you are, Camden Yards. Here comes a pitch. Good eye in that spot. And when teams started building sort of state-of-the-art ballparks, Baltimore was the first organization to do it up the way that they did. Really created a mold for other organizations to follow when upgrading or building new ballparks. To kick the 3-2. Out to short. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Singled and scored his first time. Yeah, this really was the first old school, new ballpark that we saw in the major leagues. Off the plate, and that's ball one. Santander over at first with one away.
Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. He's 0 for 1. Good eye right there. Got the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. The 1 0. A little bit low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Good hitters count the 2 0. And it's fouled away. Two and one now, two aboard. Fouled off to the right. Hit on the ground, might be two. Quickly to second for one. On to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. There's a strike. Corners are occupied with two down. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. the extra bases one runs in runner around third on his way to the plate cut off now a throw home and he's in there as two runs score in the play just so sound in his mechanics hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field So next to hit for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins doubled in his first A.B. Ripped on the ground a second, tosses to first, and the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 5-2. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Isaac Paredes. And he deals. There's a strike. Well, these Rays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Kicks and fires. That one is upstairs. Next one misses. Three and two now. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline. 
Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way if it's fair. Out of here. He'll circle the bases and they slice into the lead. It's 5-3. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. New pitcher now, D.L. Hall. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 24. Manuel Margot up to the plate. One for one with a double and a run score. This to center field. Mullins settles under it. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Now batting. The second baseman. Curtis Mead getting ready to hit. And there's a ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Number 78 up and loosening in the pen. And the 1 0. -oh. And fouled off. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The battle, number six. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Man at first with one gone. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Me, the base runner at first with one out. Check swing. He went. And it's one and one. At the belt and fires. And a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Popped up. Squeezes it. Two away. Tries to get back and see. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Pitch misses, 1-0. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Fought off foul. And a pitch. To the left side, but it is well fouled. pitch and now the count is even it's a good take swing and a miss struck him out good job at damage control right there but not before they answer back with a solo home run it's now 5-3 it's Major League Baseball and it's on the show
Welcome back. And now the DH, Jordan Westberg. The designated hitter, Jordan Westberg. And the right hitter back to work. And that drops in for a strike. You know, these Orioles really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. And now two balls and a strike. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your guys really fighting for every at bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they showed up to the ballpark today. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Down the line towards the corner. And it's caught for the out. The batter, the second baseman, Adam. And next for the Frazier. Orioles, Adam Frazier. Grounded out his first time. Out to short. To first. Out. And a couple of quick outs. Third baseman number two. Gunner. Henderson. Now here is Gunner Henderson. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. There's the strike. Takes a swing. Appeal down to third. Did not go. The wind of the pitch. And a ball evens the count. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And it remains 5-3. Coming on for the Orioles, number 78. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Now it's the DH, Yandy Diaz. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, these Rays doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. The throw to first, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now that left field. Randy Arozarena next to hit for the race. In there for strike one. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Right-hander kicks, deals, and now two and one. Gets the outside corner with that one. Two-two on the way. Inside, just missed. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked.
Righty delivers. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Harold Ramirez next to hit for the Rays. Pick off move to second. Rosarena dives back. And the first pitch misses for ball one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. So two balls and no strikes. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. They say it went. A Rosarena leads off second with one gone in the inning. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. Fires to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they trail by one. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Jose Siri, the next to hit. First offering, misses the mark. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Can't glove it cleanly. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now they've got to find a way to get the job done. Time run at third, less than two. This is a huge at-bat coming up. in the box now take strike one I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield next offering is in for a strike big pitch right here he's going to try to make a pitch it's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play runners are at the corners one away next pitch is inside and the count is one and two Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Ryan Baker. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at-bats they can, so... It's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Last chance for the Rays. And now the center fielder, Manuel Margot, trying to deliver as the hero. Ripped on a line to center. And he's got it. Ball 
game. And the Orioles hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this is definitely a rarity, a one-pitch save. You come into the ball game, so much pressure, don't know what's going to happen, and fortunately, you make the pitch, you get the out, and everyone has a big sigh of relief.